Angie, there seems to be a never-ending saga when it comes to the Washington Commanders, specifically when it comes to owner Dan Snyder. Today, I was able to ask Coach Ron Rivera if he thinks those distractions off the field are impacting performance on the field. I think the biggest thing for us is we just try to focus on what we can control, and that's playing the game. So what we've tried to do, we've tried to stay focused in on the next game we play, more so than anything else. To us, that's what's important. Um, the only time it really becomes a, a distraction, obviously, in, in all honesty, is I think is when it when it gets brought up. You know, uh, what we try to do is we try to avoid those things that we talk about that are interesting, as opposed to what's important to us, to what we do, and that's play play the game of football. Do you feel that it is time for change and a new owner? No, I, I think what it is, it's time for us to focus on playing football. This morning, Forbes put out this report stating Dan Snyder hired Bank of America to sell the Washington Commanders. Coach Ron Rivera told me he doesn't know what that's all about, and it's an ownership and front office question. However, he has experienced this before, back when the Carolina Panthers were sold. Coach Ron Rivera's mother just passed away, and he was asked how he is able to stay so calm through the surrounding chaos. He said his father has always told him, you're in charge, and when all hell is breaking loose, if you're out of control, your men will be out of control. If you're in control, they'll see you and know you have confidence in what you are doing. Right now, the Commanders have four wins and four losses. Coach Ron Rivera said his focus is to get that W against the Vikings this Sunday. And Sierra, I know you were able to speak with players in the locker room as well. What's on their mind? Angie, when I went to the locker room, a lot of the players told me they had just found out about this possibility and that right now they have their blinders on. They're trying to ignore the outside noise because they have work to do. Stay with us because coming up at five, you'll hear from Chase Young, who is back on the practice field today, as well as quarterback Taylor Heineke. The Washington Commanders are dealing with a lot of distractions off the field. Here's how Chase Young said the team is handling it. I think feel like we just lean on our teammates uh, in the locker room. Um, we, we, we really don't pay attention a lot to the outside noise because we have so much stuff we have to do inside the facility, um, you know, to, to win games. Um, so, you know, we really uh, we just we stayed the task at hand, got the blinders on, and, you know, that's how, really, that's how we rock in there. Forbes put out this report stating Dan Snyder hired Bank of America to sell the Washington Commanders. Coach Ron Rivera was asked about it, but said he doesn't know what that's all about, and it's an ownership and front office question. However, he has experienced this before, back when the Carolina Panthers were sold. Coach Ron Rivera's mother just passed away, and he was asked how he is able to stay so calm through the chaos. His answer was simple. He has to be strong for his players. So far, the commanders have four wins and four losses this season. Players like Taylor Heineke told me their focus is beating the Vikings this Sunday. It seems to be one thing after another, a never-ending saga. Would you say the distractions off the field with Dan Snyder are impacting your performance and other players' performance on the field? I wouldn't say that. Um, again, you know, we, we come in here and we, we just focus on ball. Um, you know, we don't listen to the outside noise. And, um, yeah, you know, it, again, you know, we're here just to play football. Um, we're not here to, you know, kind of talk politics and stuff like that. So um, I, f I feel like guys throughout the years have done a good job with that. Do you think it's time for change? Nah, I'm not going to answer that. You may remember Dan Snyder once said he wasn't going to change the team name. That happened. He also said he wouldn't sell the team. However, it looks like we're one step closer to that happening as well. Fox 5 will stay on top of it. Back to you. So much happening on and off the field, uh, Sierra. And, and you put uh, Taylor Heineke there in the hot seat. Good evening, Angie and Rob. Well, the Washington Commanders admit there are a lot of distractions happening off the field, but it's essentially out of their control. Today, I asked players like punter Tress Way if they believe it impacts their performance. No, no, not at all. That is what coach does with us in our team meetings where we are in this confined area. He has us look to our left, look to our right. Of the, it is us going out there against our opponents that week. We, we are here to play football. We are here to win football. And that is, I, I, I cannot understate or I cannot overstate just how incredible Coach Rivera is at doing that with us as men, as players, and as a team. What would you say to fans who think it is impacting performance? Um, I would encourage them to come out to every single game and go crazy for us so that we can hopefully string some more wins together and, and make it a fun experience for everybody. 
What went through your head when you heard that Dan Snyder could be parting ways with the team? Uh, I have a game against the Minnesota Vikings. So you're staying focused on the next game, but obviously a lot of people are talking about this. Do you feel like that's just a distraction to what you're trying to do on the field? Yeah, I got a game to play. Um, that's for everybody else outside of what we got going on in here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little noise, but at the end of the day, we got a game to play. They're just trying to stay focused.